Welcome to a series of videos designed to help you get the most out of Final Draft. In this tutorial, we're using a Mac, but we'll show you the Windows menus if they're different. Our focus is on creating a boneyard in the beatboard. A boneyard is a production term for scenes not in the shooting schedule or that are considered non-essential. Screenwriters can create a boneyard or a list of scenes and snippets they want to associate with a script file, but not necessarily keep in the script itself. These can be alternative versions of scenes, scraps of dialogue, scenes that are cut in the current version but might be added later, or ideas that might come in handy during a rewrite. Final Draft allows you to use the beatboard as a boneyard to store these ideas while retaining the script formatting of your selection. To create your boneyard, first be sure that the beatboard is visible. In the script view, go to View, Split Vertically, or use the split icon in your menu bar. Click to place the cursor in the newly created screen. Go to View, Beatboard. The beatboard for the script file will appear. Choose a place on the beatboard to store your ideas. We'll put our boneyard at the bottom of the beatboard. To label this area on your beatboard, control click or go to Insert New Beat in the menu. Label the new beat boneyard or whatever you want to call this area and choose a color for the label. We'll use dark blue. To move snippets of your script or complete scenes into the boneyard, simply select that selection of your script in the script view and drag it over to the boneyard area of your beatboard. Whatever section of the script you selected will be automatically dropped into a new beat. The formatting of the script selection will be retained inside the beat. You can name the beat something that will help you identify it later. We'll call this snippet Engine Room Alt Scene. You can drag this beat to page 12 on the story map to associate it with a location in your script. Page 12 will now appear in the upper right corner of the beat. Next, delete from the script the scene you've moved into the boneyard. Drag as many scenes or snippets as you want into this boneyard area. Use color coding to organize them. For example, all boneyard scenes are light purple. Use align beats to keep them in order. When you want to move an item from the boneyard back into the script, simply click on the beat and drag it to the desired area in the script. The scene or snippet will be dropped back into the script, properly formatted. Now you know the basics of creating a boneyard in the beatboard. If you have any comments or suggestions, we want to hear them. Just go to Help, Submit Feedback, and let us know what you think. If you need technical support, go to Help, Get Support for access to Final Draft resources, including email, chat, and phone services. To watch more helpful video tutorials, visit the Final Draft YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Final Draft Inc. Final Draft, the industry standard screenwriting software.